Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to Munising, Wisconsin. Today we are going to go out on Lake Superior and we're going to be on the Lockwood Explorer 2 with Love's Park Scuba. We're going to be going to see the Manhattan. This is a wreck that ran aground just outside, outside the channel as they were leaving Munising. This was back in 1903 and the wreck then caught on fire and was burnt down to the waterline. A uh, horrible tragedy, but everyone was able to get off. Unfortunately, it was in the channel, and so they had to tear the wreck apart. And so now it is in pieces all over the bottom, but it is a really cool wreck because you can actually see how the ship was created and some of the pieces inside. So today, let's go dive in. <laughs> Welcome to Munising, Michigan. This is a gorgeous place with a lot of fun structures. It's a great place to come and visit and explore. Whether you're diving or just want to spend some time on the lake or want to do hiking, there are lots of things to do in Munising, Michigan. But we are here to do diving. We're going to be going on four different dives. Today we're actually going to be looking at the Manhattan. This is a great beginner's dive. It is very shallow. It's only about 25 feet deep, so most people can get to it very easily. And it's just a, a beautiful place to go and explore. Now, when this boat was wrecked, it was in the shipping channel, and they needed to get rid of it because it was only 25 feet. They could see it, so they tore it all apart. So the main section is what we're looking at here. This is actually the floor of the ship, and it is in major large pieces. We'll look at that in a little bit here. But this is the rudder. It is off of the, the stern end, got torn apart part and is a good distance away but it is huge to give you an idea that shaft there is about 12 inches in diameter and the main surface of the rudder is about 15 feet long uh, plus than the shaft coming out of it it is a huge huge piece of metal and kind of cool to explore um, surprising how thick it is but it had to be to be able to turn this whole ship um, interesting piece of engineering from the past all over this wreck, you'll find all sorts of things that are torn apart and spread all over the place. You'll see fasteners and, and rigging and chain, and it's fascinating just to go and explore. But this subdeck is incredibly huge. Uh, this is what all of the cargo would have been stored on, and these beams we're looking at on top, those are uh, about 12 inches by 6 inches wide. And then underneath, you have these frames that are about 6 inches wide by about 20 inches tall. Uh, huge pieces of oak and all put together with these scarf joints and it made my woodworking heart go thumpity thump. Uh, just looking at these beams right in front of us, those are about six inches wide each and there are hundreds and hundreds of these all oak and uh, about 20 inches down to the, um, you would actually have the, the main surface that would hold the water out. And this whole thing is about a hundred some feet long. So we left that and started doing some of the exploring around and you'll find little pieces of this and that. And this is one of the side walls of the ship. Uh, we're looking at the connection point for the lower deck and you can see the, the uh, shoulders that would hold, uh, the knees that would hold the lower deck. And over on the left you can see the shoulders, the, the knees that would hold the upper deck. Uh, so this right here, that would be where the upper deck would connect to the side. So we are on the inside of the ship right now. Uh, there are all sorts of metal strapping and uh, connection points, and it's all iron. Uh, but in the cold, superior waters, it's actually uh, maintained well. And there aren't zebra mussels up here, so it is uh, just beautiful. This is part of the, uh, the engine room, uh, which this was a steam vessel, an early one. And so there are um, piping and other things that were devoted to that that you'll find around the wreck. Just fun to explore. Uh, seeing beams and... and pieces of the ship that were strewn all over the place and trying to reconstruct it in your brain and make sense of it. Uh, even some of the, the block and tackle pieces you'll occasionally come across here and there. Uh, you can't take any of it with it due to uh, the laws, but it is great to explore. This is Jeff. He is my dive buddy through most of it. And after exploring the sidewall, we're going to go back over to the main wreck, which is the bottom of the ship. And this is where most of the structure it is, is the biggest piece and the easiest to explore. And there are all sorts of interesting things to look at and how this all went together. Uh, it used to have rigging and all of the, the cables and roping. Uh, it is amazing how much of it has been 
actually preserved and is still down there for you to go and look at what was originally there hundreds of years ago or 100 years ago <laughs> um, and then we're back on the the main deck here and I'm gonna do a little exploring up and down one end and you can see it's over a hundred feet long from one end to the other and you can't quite see it the visibility is fantastic uh, we probably had about 70 feet of visibility but it wasn't quite enough to see the whole ship end to end this is my second time to dive this wreck, and it is just an incredible fun wreck to dive. It's very easy, it's shallow. We were down there for a little over an hour. Um, you can you can have all day long on this thing because it's, it's shallow enough, and it's easy enough to get around, and it has been... Um, just there for a long time. You can actually see it uh, from the from the surface, and so you can get a glass bottom boat tour and come and, and view it if you don't want to actually dive it. And it has become home for all sorts of marine life, and there are fish and snails and other things like that um, hiding around the block and tackle and all the other pieces. This would be a great place for a fish to live because there's all sorts of nooks and crannies to hide in and to keep you safe. So this is the, the bottom of the boat. The keel is actually underneath this. It's sitting flat on the bottom. And this would have been where it starts to turn from the bilge up to the sidewall. And you can see the connections between that. This is all the way at the front of the ship. Um, and so you have the decking structure there that then go into these massive support beams. Um, these are, are basically where the frames of the boat would be. Um, I, I still can't wrap my brain around how big this is and how many trees went into making this. It is incredibly huge but it had to be because it held hundreds of tons of, of cargo uh, it was a, a massive massive ship uh, for moving ore from Lake Superior out and then into the other Great Lakes uh, just yeah a lot of fun this is an easy one it's not very deep it's pretty simple to go and there's lots of things to look at hey look at the little fishies <laughs> there's actually a, a snail that I saw somewhere around here oh yeah there it is a little uh, snail growing on the side of the log and uh, a few other pieces of marine life here and there. Um, a very simple, very easy dive with lots of things to look at. The Manhattan is a really cool wreck. Um, you don't get to see torn apart ships like this, but if you want to see one intact, I'm going to have a video coming out here soon where we do uh, uh, the Bermuda, which is a lot more like what you expect. But after an hour, we had to surface and uh, come back up because it always has to come to an end, unfortunately. Back on to the Lockwood Explorer 2 and on to do a little bit of exploring on the top. We actually went around Munising and saw some of the sites. There are all sorts of things to do from kayaking to renting ships to uh, snorkeling and you can beach your ships and uh, spend some time on the shore. Uh, the glass bottom boat tours, Munising is a fantastic place to visit and just a lot of fun. Whether you're diving or on the top, yeah, uh, we'll be back here sometime in the future.